hello all in this video today we are going to learn about functional interfaces so what is the functional interfaces the functional interfaces which will contains only one abstract method and we can have like n number of default methods and n number of starting methods is called as a functional interface so before we are going to discuss about functional interface so i would like to discuss uh, for default method and the starting methods so what is a default method so inside the interface we can declare method with the keyword of default so we we should provide the implementation for this method inside this interface is called as a default method and so now i'm going to show you one example so by default like all the methods inside this interface is public and abstract so i am going to implement this interface yeah and i am providing implementation inside this implementation class old method i just added one sop same thing so i'm taking one more implementation class as functional class demo1 and implementing the same interface so i am implementing in the both classes functional class demo and functional class demo1 classes so in the future like if you try to add like one more abstract method here that is new method so you should provide implementation in both implementation classes okay so that is the reason default method has been introduced in java 8 version so default method feature which allows the developer to add new new method to the interfaces without breaking their existing implementation so this method i'm changing to so default method and i am providing implementation inside the interface here. so so provide the common functionality in the default method okay so it is not breaking any implementation classes so that is the reason like default method has been introduced in java 8 version okay now i'm going to discuss about why so we can override the default method inside this implementation classes see this so new method right new method so new method so we can write like our own implementation here also like if you want and So I'm creating object to this function class demo and I'm calling our method and new method. So here old method is abstract method and the new method is a default method. So the default method we can call it like this. Okay. So now I'm going to discuss about default methods 
and multiple inheritance ambiguity problems so now i'm removing this class it's not required now so i'm taking like one more interface that is interface b so i have the same default method in interface a and interface b okay so now i'm implementing both interfaces in this functional class demo class so interface b I'm just removing this so it's throwing compile time error and saying that duplicate default methods named new method with the parameters and are inherited from the types in interface b and interface a so this is ambiguity problem because we have two methods this new method we have the same signature in interface a and interface b so to do this ambiguity problem we have to override this new method inside this functional class demo so here i am overriding interface method now if you try to execute this so interface a method will be called so same thing like if you want to call like interface b method so then you can call it like this okay like if you want to write it your own implementation and you can provide the own implementation here also insert implementation class okay so this is how like we can resolve the ambiguity problems in functional interfaces now we are going to discuss about static methods so what is the static methods so static methods in interfaces are similar to the default methods except that we cannot override these methods in the classes that implements these interfaces so static methods are similar to the default methods so we can define with static keyword taking as another new method but you can't override the static method inside this implementation classes okay so if you want to call this static method inside this implementation classes then you can define by using interface name interface a dot Sorry, I have defined in interface B, right? Yeah. So uh, interface B dot the method. So I'm taking another new method in this SOP. So try to run this you will see the output right this is the static method so both class and interfaces can have the static methods with the same name uh, we have static method inside the interface and we can have this static method inside the class also but we cannot override that see this we can we can write it like this but you cannot override this static method from this interface okay so it helps the providing the security by not allowing the implementation classes to override them 
so basically the advantage of uh, starting method is you don't need to create a separate class utility method separate class for utility methods for static methods the method is called according to the type of object being referred so which means the object call decided at compile time that is the reason we can't override static method inside this implementation classes okay now so i'm removing this it's not required now we, we are going to discuss about functional interfaces the functional interface is an interface which will contains like one, only one abstract method and we can have like n number of default methods and n number of static methods is called as a functional interface here we have like uh, abstract method and we have default method and we have static method so if you want so you can have like n number of default methods here so new method one new method two the same thing is applicable to this static method also like you can have like n number of static methods inside this functional interfaces okay so this is the functional interface like if you try to add like one more abstract method so then this is not a functional interface so to make sure that whether it's a valid functional interface or not so you can just annotate with functional interface annotation so it will immediately show the compile time error so interface b is not a functional interface it is saying that it is not a functional interface because it so it has like two abstract methods so the functional interface will contain like only one abstract method and we should not contain like more uh, more than one abstract method is called as a functional interface so you can remove this same thing so we can override like uh, object class methods also so i'm going to take equals method say this so this is a valid functional interface because it's not it is not throwing any compile time error here so the same thing i'm going to take two string method also so this two string and the equals methods uh, are belongs to object class so we can override like object class methods also because this equals and two string methods are already implemented in the object class so that is the reason like this is valid functional interface okay so the functional interfaces uh, we have introduced in the functional interfaces which has introduced in java 8 version so we have like um, uh, runnable callable consumer comparable and file filters and action legends so those are example of functional interfaces so the functional interfaces which can use it in the lambda expressions the lambda expressions um, the lambda expressions uh, can be used to implement this functional interfaces which has like only one abstract method so basically the functional interfaces uh, main advantage is we can reduce the like duplication code inside this lambda expressions so that's all so thank you thanks for watching my video so please do like and subscribe my video and please do click on this bell icon to get my newly updated videos thank you thanks for watching my video